Hi there and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzlin Menti here. How are you today? Breast Health and the Healing Consciousness Foundation. We're talking about your health and you're going to love this because this is a holistic look, look at you and your health, not just saying here's a prescription, take a pill. So I want to introduce my friend, Dr. Beth Dupree, who's a medical director of the Breast Health Program at Holy Redeemer Health Systems and the founder of the Healing Consciousness Foundation and the author of the Healing Consciousness, which is a great book. Um, I want to welcome you, Beth. It's so good. Now, you told me to call you Beth, not you Dr. Call, you Beth. Beth. Or, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Thank you for having us, and thank you for bringing breast health and wellness to light. Um, it's October 1st. And everybody knows that October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but I'd like it to be Breast Health Awareness Month. I don't want to focus just on the cancer because so many women can do things in their life to be proactive about preventing cancer. So we're going to kind of shift a little bit and talk about how we can maybe um, help prevent breast cancer and how we can detect cancers early. And then what we do for our patients once they're diagnosed with cancer to help them get to a safe place again. So take me, first of all, the book. Um, how do you, what do you mean by when you say the healing consciousness? Because a lot of doctors are like, here, take this, shh, go to the pharmacy. And you have a whole different view the, Yeah, the, it's kind of happened, honestly. I had uh, two very dear friends diagnosed, one with brain cancer and the other one with Lou Gehrig's disease, and they're both physicians. And when your physician wow. colleagues are diagnosed with things that are either incurable or potentially lethal, it makes you take a step back and pay attention. And uh, my dear friend, Lauren Laverde, who's actually vice president of our foundation now, um, had a brain cancer almost 16 years ago. And um, she was expected not to survive from that, but obviously she did. And another colleague, Chris O'Donnell, who was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. And unfortunately, she's no longer with me physically, but oh, she is sorry. one of my spiritual guides. Um, and when, so when you have two friends who are physicians diagnosed with things that change your life, it makes you take a step back and say, okay, you're a doctor, you can't always cure the disease, but you can help patients get to a safe place. So it started me on a journey that I wasn't even prepared for. I never intended to write a book. I, I'm not a writer, I'm a storyteller. And I woke up on a cruise one night and started writing in a journal and I was writing this book and I'm going, I don't know who's in my head. I have no <laughs> reason to write a book. And um, in 2006, the book was born and it has become the basis for the beginning of our foundation. And the healing consciousness is really the, that awareness that it's not just about treating a disease, it's about how you get to a safe place after a diagnosis, no matter whether it's cancer or any other disease. It's about figuring out what really matters in life and how to live your life empowered and to live it consciously, to not go along pretending that you're not aware of everything else around you and really being present in the moment. Okay, and this is something I'm so into. So I, I, love, I it. love that you're saying all this and that, and that you're obviously a, a biggity big doctor. It's not just me saying this, it's somebody who's, who's studied this. And you, so you recently went for another certification in integrative medicine, Correct. is that right? I um, am board certified in surgery, which is what qualifies me to be a breast cancer expert. And I felt because I was using integrative modalities, whether they were healing modalities or nutrition or fitness or herbal supplements, things that can enhance a patient's process, that in order to do that with the integrity that I need as a physician, I took the time and studied and went back for a second board certification. So last fall, I was board certified in integrative and holistic medicine. So what it allowed me to do is to, with that medical integrity, bring those aspects into my day-to-day -day practice and educate my patients about what they eat, like your food, you know, food is the best medicine, um, teaching them about the importance of exercise and movement, teaching them the importance about stress reduction and stress management, the importance of the health that you need with sleep, and looking at things in our diet that can not only enhance your process to heal, but can also help prevent cancers. So, like what, specifically? What are your favorite, if you had five foods that you say everybody should put these in their diet and keep them there? Well, obviously a diet high in antioxidants. You want, you want to get your antioxidants naturally, so bright colored fruits and vegetables, um, you know, blueberries, raspberries, things, pomegranate, things that we know have the ability to help fight changes in our DNA. We all are given a, a DNA blueprint. 
And so you have this genotype, which is your blueprint, and it's how it expresses itself. And there are things that we call um, factors that can, epigenetics, things that can actually enhance our DNA and make it express itself in a good way. So by what we eat, eating things, you know, if you're going to eat meat, eat meats that are free range chicken or grass fed beef, things that are not processed and have extra um, estrogen and other things from the outside world coming into it. There are a host of things that you can add to your diet like green tea that we know can help decrease the risk of breast cancer. Um, there are certain types of mushrooms that eaten with your food can actually help to enhance your body's ability to um, stave off disease. So it's a combination of adding stress reduction, adding mindfulness, um, and again, exercise. I can't underscore exercise enough. We know that women that exercise at least three hours a week drop their risk of breast cancer by 18%. And you're, you feel better. You're healthier. Absolutely. You're happier. So uh, Dr. Beth's going to stay right here. We're going to bring on a thriver and we'll explain what that means. And we'll talk about the bad foods that we need to get out of our diet too. We've talked about some of the good. We'll talk about the good, bad, and the ugly when the Dawn Show comes right back.